Hello, and welcome to SOE TV, that School of Education TV. I'm your host, Dawn Krem, Associate Dean for External Relations here in the School of Education. I'm excited that you can join me today because it is all about springtime and football. For the fourth consecutive year, the UW Athletic Department has selected a campus partner to partner with them in terms of bringing the spring game to you. And what that means is proceeds from the spring game will be used to support programs in the School of Education. And we are going to be supporting the improvement of students' literacy. We have a variety of programs that we have that we'll be deploying to use those resources. We're going to be doing summer programs, using technology to improve literacy, doing uh, work in the classroom, teacher to teacher, so that they can take the lessons learned into other classrooms. And we're just going to be using iPads. We're going to be doing all kinds of things to improve student literacy around the state, not just schools here in the Madison community. And so, I am joined today with Mark Tauscher, who is a graduate of the School of Education and a member of our Board of Visitor. He is a former Green Bay Packer and has agreed to be an honorary co-chair along with Jessica Doyle. Hello, Mark. Thank you for joining me. It's always a pleasure, Don. Well, Mark is here because he really understands the winning combination of athletics and literacy. Mark, can you share a little bit with us about your passion for literacy? Sure. The, it really started when I was in first grade. I was in the lowest reading level. And I remember one of the teachers had was going to say that there's three of us in the low level. There's 25 kids in our class. And they were going to have me walk across this you know, to the public school. Okay. And I remember going home talking to my mom and dad, and they both said, let's get our nose to the grindstone here and, and start reading and, and try to improve, get up to that second group and then get up to the first group. And so it, it was really the first goal that I can recall setting for myself. And I just remember feeling when I, in that third grade, when I was moved up to that first reading level, I remember the great sense of pride that I had that mm. I accomplished that goal. And I always just thought, man, if there's ever a time when I can do something, I just remembered how important that was for me developing and gaining confidence. Wow. I really hadn't thought about really the confidence building that can come from being a good reader and how you can transfer that onto the field. What would you say were some of your favorite books when you were little, when you were really just starting to get the hang of reading? Well, the first book that really pops into my head is Charlotte's Web. I, uh -huh. I grew up in a small town in Wisconsin, Auburndale, and grew up on a farm and the, the whole story really resonated with me and you kind of look at it, I walked on at school, you know, there's obviously the little pig, mm -hmm. you know, there's all those <laughs> things that went into it, but that book really hit, a, you know, really kind of got me going. That tied in with, we mentioned earlier, the Book It program that Pizza Hut delivered. Those ah. things, you know, really kind of got me interested in literacy and then, you know, just really wanted to keep up the you know, first grade, low level, second grade got to the medium level. Okay. And then when I got to the third grade, I finally got to that number one reading group, ah. and that really spurred me on moving forward. You were able to really work at it and move up the levels and get into that top re reading group. So fast forward now from elementary school to high school. What, what types of things did you do to continue improving on your reading in high school? Well, the, the thing that I always found was you're going to read what you're interested in. Okay. And my big thing was I loved history and I loved sports. Those are kind of my two big hobbies and okay. you know, so I, I read you know there's team of rivals there are all these great books that you, know, you not only do you learn about history but there's there's some stuff as I got older and you know when I got out of school those are some of the books that I like to get into but it just was was kind of a springboard for me because you have to know your playbook you have to read that stuff but you can also stay up to things in other sports and now that I'm out of football and I'm doing some media stuff you have to kind of research and read up on what's going on so that when you're in okay. front of a camera you know what you're talking about and you're credible rather than just being able to say whatever's on your mind. You have some result, you have some things written down and maybe now with the internet rather than magazines, that's how you keep up with it. Okay. 
Well, in thinking about the combination of the, the spring football game on Saturday, April 12th, partnering with um, the School of Education, as an honorary co-chair, what things have you been doing so far to, to encourage people to come to the game? Well, it's right now, we're, what we're trying to do, and what I thought was, would be a good idea, was getting kids with their families. Last year, I came to the spring game with you know, my young son because there's great activities in the McLean Center. There's, yep. you know, there's hockey players, there's current athletes at the UW that were showing their skills, and you know, the McLean Center was packed. So you get all those kids out. That's, that's where I think you, you're going to have your, your fans that love Wisconsin football. They're going to come out. But when you tie it in with literacy and you can kind of make it a family event, that's the goal that I think, you know, Jessica Doyle and myself are going to have is because reading has been so important for both of us to get bring that component with the spring game to kind of add a little outside of football, add something else and bring a family component to it. I think that would make the day that much more enjoyable. That is an excellent idea. Now, I understand um, through your passion around literacy, you've started a foundation. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. It, it really stems in when I was speaking earlier, you know, the confidence and how if you're behind and you can't get caught up, you really have no chance moving forward. When you're hmm. first, second, third grade and you can't read or if you're really struggling, all those other things kind of steamroll you and now you're fifth and sixth grade and you're reading at a second and third grade level. You're always trying to catch up. So the big thing for me, I recognized early on when I was younger how important that age frame was for me personally okay. in building some of the, you know, the confidence in some of the other things. And I always thought if I was successful, I got through, <clears throat> through the University of Wisconsin, when I was fortunate enough to have a platform, was able to raise a lot of money and do a lot of good things in the state of Wisconsin, and it all stemmed from literacy. Well, Mark, thank you so much for serving as the co-chair. Thank you for you know, your, sharing your literacy stories and how reading and athletics has made a winning combination for you. Can you tell me a little bit about some things you want to do between now and the game? Yeah, we're really trying to focus, and I think talking with Jessica and some of the other board members, the big thing, trying to get families up and get the whole family involved because a lot of times the parents will like the games, and this is a very cheap way to come and watch a game. Yep. Get to Camp Randall where maybe during the season there's no tickets available. There's going to be tickets available. Come down, you get to see the spring game, but there's also you know, all different kinds of athletes at the UW in the McLean Center, which I brought my son to last year, hockey. You know, I think there's cross country, volleyball, and they're all down there. You get to experience some of that, so you get some other sports exposed. But then also we want to bring a little literacy to it as well, and you tie that all in, and it's going to be a, a very fun day in April. A fun day indeed. Saturday, April 12th at 3 o'clock. Why don't you join me in Camp Randall Stadium for the spring game? Springtime in Camp Randall? A 2014 preview of this year's Badgers? And then up close in person with Gary Anderson? It's going to be a great time. All in the name of supporting the improvement of students' literacy. Buy your tickets today.